Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today I am going to be doing another one of my room builds. And the room in question? The research room. Uh, I meant to actually do this one a long time ago, but I never got around to doing it. But here it is now. Now, the research room is flexible in terms of how you build it. Uh, while it does have a minimum of 4x3, you can certainly build it larger. And yes, I've seen screenshots of some people that build a ginormous, you know, building filling research room with a billion supercomputers and just get an insane rate of research. You can do that. That's not what we're going to cover today. Today, we're going to take the bare bones minimum shape and show you a way to get the most out of it. Um, so first things first, we got ourselves four by three. Now the builds that I like to do here will generally have the door on the narrower side on either of these two, so not in the middle. Um, but they should be viable on console because you can just put it on the square space. It doesn't re rely on being uh, in like any of the half spaces here. Right then, so over on this side, um, what we want to do is uh, take our research pod and actually flip it around this way. We want it pointing towards us. It, it automatically makes enough room for people to scooch over and get to it, so you don't need to worry about it um, blocking access. Now, you also need a researcher's desk. This one I like to put up against the door like this and hold control um, to just make sure it's like right there. Perfect. Um, now, if you're just starting out a level and you don't have a lot of money and you just need to get some research rolling, maybe it's a, a new uh, clinic type that you need to get up, this right here is fine. Uh, obviously, you can put in a couple of uh, temperature fixers if needed, um, but otherwise, if you just need to get some trickle of research going, there's nothing wrong with doing a room like this. Um, yeah, you know, I do like to have my research rooms, um, uh, my research doctors made in pairs though, regardless of how much or few. And yes, you don't actually need a second researcher's desk in order to employ a second research doctor. I have tested that, but let's say it's a little bit further on and you've got some money to burn and you want a higher rate of research return. Well, there's two different items available to you. The servers, which uh, cost 10 grand a piece and give you a 1% boost in research power. And then the supercomputers, which are uh, 20 grand a piece and give you a 2% uh, research power. Now, the one thing they don't really tell you about these two things is that they generate heat with a capital H. These things put out monstrous amounts of heat. So we're going to have to compensate for that regardless of what temperature the general hospital is. Um, so let me show you what I like to call the double rack stack, uh, where we can get the most out of these while not frying your research doctors alive. Um, so we're going to start over here, um, use the fine controls to nudge this right up against the desk like that. And yeah, let's rotate here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You're aiming for four on that side. Um, and then on here, these two pads can sort of intersect with each other. So one, two, and three. We're only doing three in the middle, uh, but you can do these back to back. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then another four on this side over here. Now, I can tell you right now, this is going to definitely boost our research, but it's also going to make the heat nightmarishly hot. Like, you can even see it radiating out the room a little bit. Uh, so any scientists that you employ in here are going to get roasty toasty, and that's not good. Uh, they'll be unhappy, they'll be less productive, and yeah, we, we want to take care of that. So, we a couple of items to take care of that. Uh, first off, a couple of air conditioning units. Yes, I know about the ice sculptures and the fact that they don't require maintenance. However, we need the raw power of the air conditioning units to beat back some of this heat and make this room livable for our scientists. So we're actually going to put one right up here. Oops, hang on. This needs to be scooched a little bit further in. Actually, this one does too. Oops. These need to be a little bit more tightly compact in order to fit in the, uh, the air conditioners, but it is worth having them. And I do say them, plural, because uh, we're going to need two of these bad boys uh, to try and beat back the heat. Now that one, you can see it barely made a dent. 
This one, a little bit better, still not enough. Um, so even with these two air conditioning units, the, the high powered ones, the, the room is still too hot. So here's where you can bust out either your small air conditioning unit or your ice sculpture, depending on whether or not you have the DLC for the ice sculpture. Um, you're going to tuck one over in this corner right here, and you can tuck one over in this corner right here. Um, and that, my friends, is going to get the temperature a lot more livable in here. Yes, these little columns over here are still super duper hot and they'll be uncomfortable temporarily, but the majority of the researcher, researcher's time is going to be spent at their desk or at the research pod. Um, and yes, these do require uh, maintenance in there, but the fact that there's going to be a little bit of foot, foot traffic in here, the researchers just being in the room is what generates your research points. So it's not like a janitor getting in the way and having to fix the air conditioning unit is going to slow down your research. Um, so that is the double rack stack. Now, let's say you've got uh, yourself even more money. You've got yourself even more need for a research point. Well, you can go and do the uh, supercomputers. Um, and the double rack stack when done with supercomputers looks like this. Um, now, the supercomputers themselves are wider, so you can only get three on each of these sides and then two um, in each row in the middle. We still need uh, copious amounts of uh, air conditioning. And in fact, because these things put out a little bit more heat, you do need to use the small air conditioner and stack two of them here just to beat back the, 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 uh, the heat. Otherwise, the heat will overwhelm the room. Um, but this, uh, each of these are twice as powerful in terms of boosting research as the uh, server racks over here. Uh, so, uh, now each of these are going to run you about 200 grand or more. Um, so don't don't ever do these like right at the beginning of a level. Um, and then one last tip, this is a lot of people know this, but I figure I'd, uh, I'd mention it. If you are playing the campaign, um, once you've gotten uh, Matan University, you can go back to older levels and have your research rooms research new tech that, you need, that is needed. That way on brand new levels you don't need to spring for a new research room. Now, if you're playing some of the early levels where you just need that research room, or if you're playing Sandbox with none of the research is already unlocked, then you're going to want to do this. Uh, but again, it's 200 grand plus, so make sure you've got enough money in the bank before you spring for these monstrosities. That said, you can get tons of research points from these. So I hope the double rack stack um, is, uh, helps your uh, hospital get the research points it needs uh, to get the tech it needs. If you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!